kuweza kutupilia mbali rufaa aliyowasilisha mahakamani humo basi jaji ameweza kumtangaza kwamba gavana Siprana Witi kesi ameweza kuipoteza kesi hiyo alikuwa amewasilisha dhidi ya Oyugi Magwanga mtazamaji ambaye alishinda kesi ya kupinga bwana Siprana Awiti hebu tuende kule katika kaunti ya Kisu Whether the third and fourth respondents are entitled to relief to be declared winner of the Homa Bay gubernatorial election held on 8th of August 2017. And this is our finding. One of the prayers made by the third and fourth respondents is for a declaration that they were duly elected governor and deputy governor for Homa Bay County. Section 80 subsection 4 of the Elections Act provides as follows and I quote An election court may by order direct the commission to issue a certificate of election to a president, a member of parliament or a member of county assembly if a upon recount of the ballot of the ballots cast the winner is apparent, b that winner is found not to have committed an election offense and of it. In James Omigo Omingo Magara versus Manson Onyongo Nyamwea and two others and in Richard Kalembendile and another Mrs. Patrick Musimba Mweo and two others despite a recount establishing the petitioner to have garnered the highest number of votes they were not declared duly elected in these cases the trial court was of the view that a scrutiny and recount was not an end in themselves this court in jo John Oro Oyoka versus IBC and others held that even where the criteria in section 80 subsection 4 are met a winner cannot be declared if the impugned election was fundamentally flawed in the instant case there are good reason for this court not to declare the third and fourth respondent as duly elected first the scrutiny and recount exercise con conducted by the dr did not sh show the third and fourth respondent as apparent winners of the election Second, the third and fourth respondents are just to declare the winners based on results presented to this court by their own witness by their own witness PW13 Mr. Geoffrey Ombogo. In our considered view, PW13 or any other person except IBC cannot provide and produce any electoral results that an election court can use to declare any person a, re a returned candidate. Third, We are persuaded by the dictum in John Oro Oyoka versus IBC and others where it was stated that even where the criteria in section 80 subsection 4 are met a winner cannot be declared if the impugned election was fundamentally flawed. In this appeal the trial court made findings of fact that we have no jurisdiction to delve into that that there are other flaws and irregularities disclosed in the tallying process that make the declared results indeterminate as to who the winner is for these reasons we decline to grant an order declaring the third and fourth respondent as having been duly elected in the Homa Bay gubernatorial elections uh, the final issue is whether the appellants are entitled to a declaration that the third and fourth respondents and PW3 Gordon Ombogo Ombogo committed an electoral offense One of the prayers in the memorandum of appeal in, and in cross appeal is for this court to declare the third and fourth respondents and PW3 committed electoral offenses under section 13J and 19 of the Election Offenses Act. Pursuant to section 87 of the Elections Act, the jurisdiction of an election court is, is to determine if an electoral malpractice may have been committed. An election court has no jurisdiction to determine if an election offense has been committed. It follows that an appellate court likewise has no jurisdiction to determine to determine and make a finding or declaration that an election offense has been committed accordingly we have no jurisdiction to grant the prayer sought by the appellants and the first respondents cost the high court the appellants in ground 13 of the memorandum of appeal contend that the trial judge had in law and in fact by subjecting the appellants to paying excessive costs the first and second respondents in cross appeal also <coughs> argued that the trial court awarded excessive costs The trial court awarded costs as follows paragraph 86 In sum this petition is allowed with orders that a fresh gubernatorial election for the county of Homa Bay be held and that the petitioner's cost pegged at Kenya 6 million subject to taxation be borne by the first respondent in the sum of Kenya shillings 4 million and the third and fourth respondent in the sum of Kenya shillings 2 million 
In this matter, we note that the capping of cost at six million at Kenya Shilling six million is simply a maximum. The costs are subject to taxation, and it may well be that the cost will be taxed at less than the maximum of Kenya shillings, uh, six million. We are cognizant that no two cases are similar. There is no one straight jacket figure of course has to be awarded in gubernatorial elections or any elections for that matter. Each case is to be looked at individually. However, having examined comparative judicial decisions emanating from the 2013 and 2017 election petitions, it is our view that the capping of total costs at Kenya shillings 6 million by the trial court is on the excessive side. We know that the trial court awarded costs against the appellant in the sum of Kenya shillings 2 million. This sum compares favorably with costs awarded at the high courts in other gubernatorial election petitions. For this reason, the contention that the costs awarded against the appellants are excessive has no merit. Costs awarded against the first respondent is 4 million shillings. Compared to total costs awarded in other gubernatorial elections, this sum is on the higher side, and we reduce, we reduce it to Kenya shillings 3 million. We order that the costs at the High Court be and are hereby capped as follows. One, the appellant shall pay costs at the High Court, the third and fourth respondent, and the cost is capped at Kenya shillings, two million as ordered by the trial court. Two, the first respondent shall pay costs to the third and fourth respondent at the High Court, and the cost is capped at the sum of Kenya shillings, three million. For avoidance of doubt, the total costs awarded to the third and fourth respondents at the High Court be and is hereby reduced from Kenya shillings, six million to five million shillings. No order as to cost at the High Court in this appeal is made, is made against the second respondent because of employer-employee relationship with the first respondent. Finally, subject to the order on cost, we are convinced that this appeal and the cost appeal have no merit. The final orders of this court are as follows. One, subject to the order of cost, the appeal and cost appeal by the appellant and the first respondents respective, respectively have no merit and are hereby dismissed. Two, the appeal on cost is dismissed and the cross appeal on cost is allowed. Three, subject to the variation on order for cost made herein above, the judgment delivered on 20th of February 2018 in Homer Bay High Court election petition number one of 2017 be and is hereby confirmed and upheld in its entirety. Nambasi mtazamaji hayo ndio matukio kutoka mahakama ya Kisumu ambapo basi gavana wa kaunti ya Homabay bwana Sipra Nawiti mara tena ameweza kupoteza kesi ama hapa kwenye kisa hiki rufaa aliwasilisha katika mahakama hiyo na jaji kusema kuwa uamuzi wa tarehe 20 mwezi Februari katika mahakama ya Homabay basi unaidhinishwa kwamba basi Sipra Nawiti akuchaguliwa kwa njia zilizofaa na hivyo basi kutupilia mbali uchaguzi wake siku ya leo kwa hivyo mahakama imeza kuidhinisha kwamba eh, gavana Sipra Nawiti wa kaunti ya Kakamega anapoteza kiti chake siku ya leo mtazamaji mtazamaji na mtazamaji kaunti ya Homa Bay Kunradhi na ni bwana Cyprian Awiti siku ya leo basi apoteza hicho kiti dhidi ya Uyugi Magwanga ambaye basi aliwasilisha kesi kupinga uchaguzi wake Cyprian Awiti wa Agosti mwaka 2017 ambao ni mwaka uliopita kwa hivyo basi mara tena gavana Cyprian Awiti wa kaunti ya Homa Bay apoteza kiti chake cha ugavana siku ya leo baada ya kupoteza hiyo kesi ya rufaa katika mahakama ya Kisumu